What's going on guys, it's Jason here. I'm doing a tour of a house I built about four or five years ago, I don't remember. We're still out here in the Palisades, of course, and uh, we're looking at a house that we built and in the middle of construction, we sold it. So a lot of special details got put into the house and I can't wait to share them with you. All right, this house is about 4,400 square feet, I believe, maybe 4,500 square feet. It's a four, it's a five bedroom, five and a half bath. It's on, I don't remember the size of the lot, but anywhere between 52 to 6,500 square feet. I don't remember exactly, I'm sorry about that. Let's go check it out, let's go see it, come on. Oh, nice. You know, so when I first walked in here, I'm like, oh, we put Venetian plaster on the ceiling, but it's actually wallpaper on the ceiling. Uh, totally threw me off there. This mirror looks a little undersized. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think. So now we're in the master, okay? Now keep in mind, this house was uh, taken over mid-construction by the clients who ended up buying it from me and a lot of extra details went into it. So there's, <laughs> there's TNG paneling all over this room. You can see this wall, the ceiling. It all lines up really nicely, takes you all the way over so this is the coolest thing to, to me is finding that the bed wall runs all the way over, all the way back and right down to that cabinetry. And it kind of just brings your line. So if you're, if you can imagine just being in bed right back here and you're just looking up and your, your eyes are just following down and bringing it back to center every single time. There's no, there's no distraction happening. So it's really cool and I really like that. It looks really nice in here. This leads you into a small foyer, which brings you into like a hallway closet, something for like the linens and things like that. And then we have the master bathroom and the closet in here. Now, woo, this is a fancy closet. You get the jewelry drawers where you can kind of see what jewelry you have. If someone's gonna rob you, they know exactly which glass to break, right? All of the, all of the, the closets are completely coated in paint complete this is a lacquer finish some drawers beautiful has the closets that are completely encased now this is really good when you have clothes that you're like trying to avoid getting um dusty and stuff like that so if you have like classic dresses or shoes things like that that you want to kind of protect that's why you would put doors on your closets truthfully any other reason other than they look nice is there's no real other reason. But they look great in here, like this is incredible. This this closet in general just looks really nice. I mean, super black, you can kind of, I can, I'll, like, I'm gonna disappear right now. Huh? Oh, no, I'm still, there you go. <laughs> but that's a really nice bathroom, that's a really nice closet, all right. All right, so now we're in the master bathroom. Truthfully, this is like a super fresh, super clean bathroom. All the hardware has no, no like knobs. It's all completely circles, uh, really cool. This is an Amarich tub, uh, completely coated. It's got this nice soap, soap ledge on there. You've got a single head shower, which is, which is odd, because in a shower this big, I would actually have assumed we would double up on it, but that's pretty big. So in today's world, I would, I would have probably done a head shower shower head, and then eliminated this wall, maybe done a soap niche along this wall or something like that, just to have a little bit more fun with it. But uh, it still looks really sexy. Now this is, a, this is a porcelain tile, this is not marble. It looks marble, but it's actually porcelain. The benefit to the porcelain is it's non-absorbent, so no ceiling, you only have to take care of the grout. So pretty nice, and this floor is the same. And then right here, you have really cool tile for the laundry room. It's a nice hallway of a, of a service space. It's not too big, not too small. It serves its purpose, right? You gotta just clean those clothes. This is probably my favorite room upstairs. And I'll give you the, two, the three reasons. One, I think this fixture was the first time I had installed this, this lighting fixture. And I've used it many times since. It's just a really nice fixture to use and I really enjoy it. Uh, the second thing is, is I got to use this really cool funky wallpaper. Look up. Now again, like I'm saying, like when I build on that bell curve, okay, I'm not allowed to use things like this because this is particular. Someone's either gonna love this or hate it. So trying to uh, build where people are going to love it, you 
you can't do things like this. But I was really excited that I got to do this because I think it's really cool. And same thing with these colors. So this, so this actually probably looks white on camera. But this is actually a really uh, muted pink. It's a light pink, like a baby girl pink, right? And then in here, you have that same pink. It almost looks like it's the same pink, but it looks a little bit more bright. I don't know why. It's coming off a little brighter. It might be, it might not be. It might be the light itself. But again, every bedroom up here. So there's four bedrooms up here. Every bedroom, every bedroom has a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Walk-in or not, every bedroom also has details. There's paneling on every single wall. There's paneling on the ceiling. There's windows for bright light. Look at these bathrooms though. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that fixture. This purple. Oh my God. Yeah. Very cool. I love, so, you know, even talking, if you, if you go back to the episode I did with Sarah, Sarah Bendrick, like one of the things I love about her designs is she's not afraid of color. So for me, using color is very rare. It's not, a, it's not an often opportunity. So getting to explore with colors and see how they look in homes without kind of taking the risk on the color is really fun to see. I mean, look at, look at this contrasting cabinet right here. Look at this white on the on the black uh, this almost is like a black blue and that black handles you know you can't always get away with stuff like that so you can try to you can have a little bit of fun with it but not always that lucky i, I love how these bathrooms came out they're super functional we put wallpaper everywhere which is unusual as well in my houses so we got to put that in this is almost like a, a grayish blue really light again it comes off as white when you walk in here I can see it through the camera. It's actually a color. This is actually a different color. This is not just white, you know? So we have, uh, this is drywall and then we have a nice paneling on this wall with a nice uh, sort of uh, modern farmhouse sort of trim on the crown. Oh my God, look at this herringbone. And again, I'm really into this fixture. I really think that this fixture is cool. Look at that herringbone. Look at how we did that. These very restoration style hardware uh, vanities. Uh, completely custom made, not not actually purchased, but they just look very aesthetic, very cool. So I don't know, I like it. It looks really nice. Let's go down. Let's go down the stairs. So the hand railing. My two cents on these hand railings is I uh, I generally think that like when we were building this, we were probably trying to go for the aesthetic that we're going for now when we were putting that metal on top of the handrail but maybe not knowing how to execute it at the time. So now we have these wrought iron uh, balusters and then we did a black uh, handrail out of wood with a glossy uh, painted finish to kind of give us that element of that wrought iron staircase without actually doing it with that. So it really gave us that look. Pretty rare to put high gloss paints in a home only because it's very telling. Okay, uh, glossy paint shows a lot. It shows the mistakes, it shows the incorrections, it shows the inconsistencies. You can really see how light bounces well off of it. So if you can see wood, you know, kind of bowing because of glossy, glossy paint, it's because it's glossy, so you're seeing the reflection as, as it comes off. So it was pretty rare that we had put them in, but we had put in the glossy paint on these ceilings, made sure it was as best as we could possibly make it and it still holds the test of time. I mean, this thing looks great. Really love how this came out. The thing that sucks about putting in the glossy paint is that when you have a touch up or a repair that needs to happen, for instance, like this line right here, how you can see this crack is happening, right? That location doesn't have to be glossy, but if you imagine that that location was glossy, you'd have to repaint the whole thing, consistent coating. It, you can't really touch up a, a joint or a spot with glossy paint. It has to be consistent all the way through. So that's, the, that's one of the negatives to using it. If we go down this way, we're gonna see the mudroom. So this is the mudroom. So it's really fun to see the dark colors that are in this house because very, very often we try to brighten up the space and keep it bright so it kind of opens up the space. We kept it bright on the ceiling, which helps keep this thing feel really right, uh, really bright. But we have a, a gray uh, pattern uh, wallpaper and then these dark cabinets that really complement the rest of the house truthfully. But it's, it's, the, it's almost like the opposite. So you have these light elements that kind of lighten up the rest of the room and make it feel not as heavy and big. 
So it's kind of cool to see that happen. Right here we have the garage. We're not gonna go in there, nothing to see. In this room that we're walking into, this is our downstairs office, gym, maids room, whatever you wanna call it. Really nice lantern fixture and a really cool black and white contrasting bathroom. It was pretty neat. Again, this is probably around the time that I was getting into these wood vanities and these, these cabinets, because I'm seeing them a lot in the house. Now keep in mind, I haven't been here in a minute, so a lot of these details are kind of being refreshed to me and it's kind of bringing back those memories of, of building the house. So it's kind of just fun to get through here. Let's go check out the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen. Clean, modern style, traditional shaker panels with this like modern painted uh, finish on it. It's very, very clean lines, nothing uh, obstructive, which is really nice. We have these cool glass fixtures in here. It's, it's this strange aesthetic because it's a very traditional build but all of the elements within the house kind of make it uh, lean towards that modern trend without going too far into it. So it's a pretty cool finish. This is, I would say this is probably a really good start to where modern farmhouses kind of came into play. You know, starting to kind of mess around with those design elements and, and test things out and see what kind of works and doesn't work. So it's a lot of fun. We have here, uh, these are our quartz countertops with a, por with a porcelain backsplash. We have a full set of Sub-Zero appliances. So we have the hood, the range, this is the Wolf. We have the built-in Sub-Zero appliance fridge and freezer. And I don't know why, it's like almost nature to want to open them, even though I'm not hungry. Right here we have a porcelain countertop. Now, we've gone through this a little bit and I'll talk a little bit about porcelain countertops just to kind of give you an update. Now, this one in particular, is a is a quarter inch thick with uh, that's installed on a three quarter inch slab, so you end up getting about an inch thick of countertop. But unfortunately, because it's so thin, it's brittle and it breaks. Now, now porcelain countertops have become a lot more strong and a lot more standard to use. So the the building practices have gotten better over time. But unfortunately, with these sets, they crack and they, they break a lot. You can see right here, there's tons of chipping that happens on the edge and there's cracks that happen on the slab as well. So if you're thinking of using porcelain, just be ready to uh, replace it if you need to. Let's go check out the outside. Hey, look at this, man. Look at, look at, look at this. We're, we're gonna look at the fireplace first. I just, I love this. So this was, uh, this was one of the first times that I'd used the metal grates on the cabinetry and I ended up actually copying this on my own house. But I love this, this, come, this came out really cool. It's not something super unique or, or special. We actually think we bought that metal grate from Home Depot. So if you're curious about that. It's really cool. I believe, oh man, I'm blanking on the name of this stone, but it's a really cool black stone that has these really light and vibrant white veins inside. And it just looks amazing. Let's go check out the backyard. Obviously we have the big uh, sliding doors that pocket all the way inside the door. And then, wow, massive ficus trees that genuinely surround the whole entire yard. I mean, you don't have neighbors back here. I, I can't see through this way, this way, or this way. This is insane. This is like serene privacy. This is insane. Uh, it's not a huge backyard, but this is a pretty standard backyard for the Pacific Palisades and for this lot. Again, about 30 feet wide by 50 feet wide, 30 feet long by 50 feet wide, and really genuinely a really nice size space. You have a sick barbecue and a, a patio location. You decide to do a nice herb garden on the side here. Got the polished countertop. Now this probably hasn't been sealed in a while and probably needs a good sealing because my hands are gross after touching it, but it looks good. This house genuinely stands the test of time in my opinion. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know, drop them in the comment section. And of course, subscribe, like, and press that bell button. It lets you know there's more coming your way. I'll see you on the next video.